we've come to Marlesborough. Last time we came, we met um, we met Retro Shella. I think it's Retro Shella. I probably said that completely wrong. Um, who's fantastic? Um, if you don't follow him on Instagram, you need to. Uh, the brands they find is just honestly, I can't even deal with it. Anyway, we met him here, and um, we we it wasn't the most fruitful day um so i don't think it was for him either so it wasn't because there was two resellers in one place however we went to bath yesterday and it was shockingly amazing so i think i don't know i don't know maybe it's a great time to be alive in terms of the reselling world um i don't know i don't know i don't know what it is but it was great yesterday so and i had a few messages from a few different local people who also said it was great for them so i'm hoping this little bit of extra drive today will be worth it austin is fondling with his fondangles um he's, hey. he's put his camera on um so it's a very affluent town there is a private school and we just drove past it and all the girls wear those skirts right down to their ankles you know proper private school you know i know private schools are all proper but this one's like you know hardcore private school you know the one and last time we came here the time before the last time we came here we found um prada prada trainers for like nine pound and um a lot of tailoring men's tailoring for very reasonable prices so hopefully that will occur again um i know it's also shocking but i'm having a beanie moment having a beanie moment i don't know what it is uh the fedoras have retired for a second and we're having a warm head situ um which doesn't normally happen I normally do fedoras all year round um so i just don't want to shock people but beanies are happening um and we'll check in hopefully when we find some great stuff and i can get austin to actually put his face on the camera so it doesn't look like it's just me going everywhere by myself austin let's see pointless absolutely pointless see you in a minute i actually just got out of the car and i just wanted to give you reference to the sort of like town this is so i'm just going to flip the camera around because you don't really get details when it's on the gopro and you can see like what we're dealing with here so that over there is a uh, rick stein restaurant um and then you get loads of cute independent boutiques so like this one and then over here there's another really cute one see it's it's very much that vibe of a town like very like quintessentially quintessentially british if that makes sense Marlborough. can we just say as well this is about an hour and a half from our property in our, our, pro our, our, our property a property line ma'am could you get on my property <laughs> no <Ma 'am>. i cannot <laughs> anyway yeah so this leave is, my property now this is quite the jaunt if you will it is it doesn't um, feel that way, though, when we drive to this place. No, and we stop in places on the way and on the way back, so it's sort of like semi-worth it. I actually I actually think a lot of the time, for us, like, we, we do a lot of driving. Um, oh, I do a lot of driving. You do a lot of sitting and kind of <laughs> chilling sleeping. out and sleeping. But um, because we live in the country, pretty much, it all looks the same. Like yeah. it never, it's, just, it's just lots of greenery everywhere until we get to where we're going. It must be really uninteresting to watch. I know people like enjoy it, obviously. Um, but what, what must be an interesting? Like, the same vibe. What, what? I feel like we should go like somewhere really cool, like like yeah, Ice like charity shops? Iceland. Yeah, fair enough. No, okay, or... I thought you were talking about UK and then you hit no. with Iceland. Okay, yeah, somewhere. I don't fair enough. No, they have charity shops in Iceland, but probably um, one would hope. If you're watching in Iceland, let us know what, what your charity shops are like. Yeah, I want to. Do you know what? I've never had any interest in going to Australia, but this last year, no offense, Australians, but this last year, I that's quite I, a broad statement. I will no, say, but I never. It's not my place. I've had on my list, fair but enough. I really want to go to go to the Arp shop. No, you do it. The, the arp no, salvo 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 anyway so these are um <laughs> i put the name up here it's kennel and schneiwenger come on it's saturday night and she's hitting me with your schneiwenger the retail on these shoes is about <laughs> for 200 pound and we pay six pounds this the, musto is a killer yeah this is really good musto but they wanted 50 pounds for it it's a proper like uh don't get lost in sea don't get lost at sea stuff. You okay. know, the proper, like, nautical... Yeah, that wasn't like... just a gents jacket. No. Okay. Um, the shoes we will list probably for about 50 to £60. Pounds. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Day by Burger at Mickelson. Um, it is cashmere blend. I decided to turn this away. Yeah, tell, 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 tell the folks all why. I got a lot of it. 
And um, I, I, because we have a large stock, shall we say, um, I'm it trying to sell to our through, stock. yes. Okay, fair through. enough. And I thought, well, you know, someone else can enjoy it for £10. Um, cool, nice shape, though. Big oversized. I find oversized sells really well and, like, you know, comfy, comfy knits. Just to let you oh, know. Oh, look, I dropped him. That's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> call the police. I wasn't dropped something. <laughs> um, just to let you know, there is a random dog wandering around. It didn't want to be my friend. I didn't have any food. I tried to make its acquaintance, but it just wasn't having any of it yeah, so um, don't, be, don't don't feel that feel bad if you see a, a, like the doggy in the background the doggy doggy i like how you said that um i quite like the shop how did you find it right okay good Moving to on. know no it was okay um there were there were a few bits and pieces i think there also is a uh tartan or kind of yeah there it is i guess it is tartan in a way um check it is a it's a western style shirt it's not a western shirt so to speak but it's um denim and supply ralph um, Ralph, um, Ralph sort of that's sort of their casual wear. It's, it's, it's very, um, um, I don't know, what's the word? Not mass produced. Yeah, it is, it is kind of mass produced. I think actually Denim Supply is produced under license, so it's not necessarily a lot of like, it, it's, it's Ralph's style. But when I say it's under license, it's not designed by the guys at yes. Ralph. These the, were nice. They were. These were <laughs> a Hugo Boss trouser. Now, majority of the time, I won't pick, unless they're really something special or a great brand, I won't pick just trousers up. These were corduroy to start with. Do they call this needle corduroy? You know what it's... The very thin one. Did I just, I thought I made that for a second. No, then, no, no, they do. <laughs> you are spot on. Um, I, I had a quick flick through these first, but I do go back to them in a minute. Basically, um, not only the, the corduroy, or as Bethany said, needle corduroy, which is like a, just a kind of... It's such a small kind of... Um, what would corduroy. you call? No, what would you call? Like, um, <laughs> like weave almost. That it, it almost becomes velvet-esque as opposed to... It's, so, it's always like spiky. Yeah. yeah. Um. Um. Anyway, th because they were obviously um, uh, like more of a like more of a, a trouser as opposed to a kind of a, a formal well, they were Hugo, suit trouser. They were Hugo Boss. They weren't Boss by Hugo Boss or Hugo by Hugo Boss. They were Hugo Boss. And once again, that makes a difference in price as regards resale. It's not ma it's sort of main line. Hugo Boss is very much, as everyone knows, sort of like Armani. It's very produced, if that makes sense. Overproduced, so to speak. Overproduced. So this tailoring stuff, you can tell that it's just got a different It's a different quality. label. It's not, that's not a kind of a standard going to a, a, a Boss store and buy a pair of trousers. Anyway, these are these are really nice. Navy. 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 I'll insert some compilations and retail ish info here for you. These are some barbecues. When you shoes. say compilations, do you mean comparisons? I mean comparisons, comparisons and completed, if you will. Mm -hmm, I guess. Um, these are some um barber. They're fifteen pounds. Isn't too bad actually. Uh, like you don't a, see a lot of barber shoes, do you? No, like a brogue shoe. Anyway, to the kids section. I know you don't find us here often. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren children's blazer now this it's would count too. as an exceptional children's piece um it is a fully embroidered horsey um a blazer these retail ridiculous i'll put some retail in retail maybe 150 yeah bit easily more, bit more than that. easily especially the ones with the kind of that you can see there the kind of striped line um that's bait this kind of the overworked version of that coat they make yeah. it like an outlet version which is probably more like 100 but this is the more expensive of the two yes um our small human will be um donning it for a little bit styling and profiling if you will however on the resale on the other side i would i wouldn't put anything past 50 to 60 pounds for it no, even, even for children's children's is well worth looking at even if it's not your normal she's um because there is money in it um there is it's expensive children's wear just like adults has good resale and as i bore in this all the time even if you don't sell children's go into the children's section see if you can find some um adult kind of ladies or um very small ladies if you will they usually get a confused just on this looking at the size of the piece jeans we found some amazing um adult pieces in the children's section a lot of it is balmoran funny enough yeah, you're right, actually. Right. Uh, 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 but also also men, like early teens and uh, men's kind of cross over quite a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Especially like pieces like Hugo Boss and um, those kind of pieces. You know, T-shirts, you know, extra small T-shirts and things. 100%, yeah. Um. Anyway, so as we travel up the road of Marlborough, I always say it wrong, Mar Marlborough. Marlborough? I want to say Marlborough. Marlborough. Uh, Correct me if I'm not wrong. It's the same as like the OG cigarettes were Marlboro. Marlboro. Marlboro lights. lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. It is. It's the same point. spelling. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it is. We don't condone uh, nicotine use here, guys. No, no. offence, but I just don't. There is um, uh, there is in the middle of the street, if anyone's interested. The middle? Middle. The middle of the street. There is actually a house clearance stall, but it was only furniture. So if you're into furniture, then there was a house clearance store on this I mean, day. It was like a small market on, yeah, on whichever day this was. This is like the boutique, he is boutique, he boutique. 
chair shop I've ever been in in my life. It is um, really cool. Every actually. time I go in here, I'm like, wow, 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 wow. When it first opened as well, they had some really cool stuff, like as in cool, cool stuff. And now it's kind of more, what I call like generic charity shop stuff, which I, is cool. But I feel like they do it on purpose. I feel like they put high street brands in here so that they look really elevated yeah, yeah, and cool. And do you know what? It works. And then you can charge a little bit more. This was cool. Talk to me about that. Um, this is a great brand. Um, the comps are, I'm going to say it, it's one of those ones that are all over the place. So I look out for exceptionally good pieces. Stefan, what is it? I'll put Stephano? it up here. Stefano? Steph, 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 I'm not even going to say it because right, I cool. just get made fun of, don't I, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I guess You're laughing because you make fun of me. I do. Um, anyway. It's my life. But if you notice, going forward, it's a lot of, you know, supermarket brands, Marks and Spencers, white stuff. I feel like white stuff is taking over the earth. Um, Do you know what? Like, does anyone else, when they're going through charity shop rails, think there's certain brands which you, you kind of mug off as a reseller? But to be tri quite honest, that the CEOs and the owners of these companies are making millions. They're going straight because to Because the there's bank. so much, there's so much of it. The abundance, they, They're right? selling so much of it, yeah. And also the stores that have, like, discontinued and closed down and there's still so much going on. How? Like, shops. how is it in circulation still yeah. at this point? Who do you think is the biggest overproducer of clothes? Edinburgh Woolen Mill. No, Mar I reckon Marks and Spencer. <laughs> Marks and Spencer's by a, by a Marks and Spencer, yeah, by a long way. This is a um, uh, coat. It's actually quite cool. It's, it's got a nice lining. Um, oh, look at me. There we go. God, Christ the Lord. Anyway, this is um, this is by a brand that I looked up. And I couldn't find anything to suggest that it was a brand at all. In mm. fact, there was no... I couldn't find but a it, website. I couldn't find... And it was £60. It was £60, yeah. yeah. I can only assume it was a locally known... Yeah, maybe. ...boutique. Yeah, yeah, or, maybe. Um, something like that, because... Or like where they buy stuff in and then kind of rebrand it for themselves, you mean? No, like, um, you know, like the, like, cruise wear. Oh, like I'm, I'm with of, you, I'm with you. you. Know, like the a brand end. they buy in, yes, There's I'm with you. There's a lot of, like, independent shops that sell, buy in, like, Josie Ribkoff and those sorts of brands. I'm with you. That are very, very expensive. But... Um, and people buy them in there. Uh, so maybe it's a lesser version of that, is that what you're saying? That's what I was thinking. All right. Well, it might not be the case, but it could be totally. You could be spot on, Bethany. Look at, look at the bric-a-brac. Look at it. Just, like, they're in picture frames on the wall with lights. <laughs> Whoever built this, because it's not a one-off, is it? Who? What company is it? Um, pros a uh, prospect, prospect. Okay, it's cool. Your shop is amazing. Yeah, it is really cool. They also have a menswear for anyone who's visited the town. The menswear is upstairs of the bookshop. Sneaky, sneaky. I'm just. Saying. Oh yes, it is. It is a hidden, a hidden place. Um, not anymore because we've just announced that it's not hidden. It's not hidden. Do you know what? But actually, when you look in the shop, you know it's one of those ones like with the Oxfam's. You're like, oh, it's a bookshop. It's a record shop. If you don't kind of sell those things or buy those things regularly, you're like, okay, next. No, it's yeah. like that from the downstairs because you physically can't see it. Like Oxfam's. Yeah, that's what I meant. Did I say what did I say? You said Oxfam's. Yeah, it's exactly yeah. like one. Well, that's exactly what I said then, Bethany. <laughs> this oh, is a cancer research. This shop. This right, is late night recording, guys. They have an abundance of items in this shop, like so many, and it. It is so pricey. So many you could fill a cherry shop. It hurts my soul. But we're going to show you some highlights of this store. Yeah, like, like sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking about what you just said. That's all right. Less than the price and just selling volume because I can't move the hangers on a lot of these, like, a uh, yeah, lot so of these it things. It was a struggle. The, one of my biggest pet peeves, we once got what asked what our pet, pet peeves of charity shops are. I didn't know if I could think of it at the time, but not being able to move hangers yeah, does agreed. my head in. And I can't even imagine what it's like for people that want to browse, like casual browse. In. Oh, yeah, because yeah, we go through everything. Yeah, we're aggressive with it, but yeah. like, not aggressive. That's I mean, I think that's a bit strong, isn't it? <laughs> not knocking people over while I do anything. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, I like to swing a hanger and like, even this is minimal room as I look through through What's the. What's uh, that dress there? That I think I can't see what that dress is like. Principles as a tenor. That's not bad actually. I guess tenor's not bad. Talk to me about these. This is good American. These are good American jeans. Now, good American jeans are by from uh, Chloe Kardashian. Chloe. Um, she makes jeans for the curvier lady. Um, so they always have an abundance of space for the butt. Um, as Austin is po actually pointing out there, actually is pointing that out. Um, see. They come in loads of different names and loads of different styles, um, and they sell them in Selfridges. The prices that have recently gone up on these, they're really quite expensive. Um, but I don't think... The problem I have with this brand, personally, is they sell really well and really fast. The problem I have with them is um, I don't think the hype quite 
has got here yet. No, I agree. I don't think it's well known enough for the price point. No, p- p- for p- the resale. P- p- just the simple fact that I think their sales. I don't think their sales have done very well even at retail. So at resale, it's so like lackluster. They do, they, to spend anywhere near that is just yeah. insane. Those were spoke trousers and they were £18. In a charity shop. Are you crazy? Yeah, considering the comps are so low, I don't know how, uh, That's a short I don't know how they manage. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> did you see what I did there? I did see you see it? Did. did you see it? Speaking of which, we sold some of those. <laughs> we sold some. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Keep those comps high, guys. Keep those comps high. <laughs> oh, funny enough, we sold them on Poshmark, so... <laughs> I dropped something, watch out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Did you just drop something else? Yeah. Oh, God. Anyway, this is... what are you Bam. Using? Bam. Bam is bamboo active wear. Um, it sells really well, but it, the, it, it sells... Talk to me. <laughs> it's bread and butter. It's great bread and butter. This is a great brand. So this is a Beretta. I, I 100% said that right. And this is a hunting, shooting brand, whatever you want to call it. Country living. Ber- Beretta, I have yeah. a, This is a vest. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a mesh vest, so it's obviously, obviously, to be under worn under a shooting jacket or a hunting jacket or a tweed or over or. No, I think it's made to go under something. Okay, you don't wear that over. Well, would it's you? pocketed, so I would guess. Okay, so. maybe. Yeah. Anyway, if you find the coats from this brand, then you are in for the big boy money. Uh, resale on the coats is easy 100 to 200 pound retail on the coats is like 600 so you could push push those comps the more complex the coat the more to the coat the more money you're going to make on the other end and men's obviously men's wear sells a bit better this is a poetry top very poetry-esque that's eight, nice eight pounds fifty great it was, it was very nice and previous to that was a star mint velvet top which i think was 950 does anyone else love selling harsher mint velvet stars on they, they I just, don't know they, what it they, is. They they fly out. Do you remember when Luella star jumpers used to just like like you wouldn't be able to keep them in for like forty quid? Well, genuinely, well I do. Yes, I do. It it do it, it, it was it was a good time. A good time. Save the Queen, sixteen pound fifty. It's just that little bit like uh price wise. Um, but this is really nice. It's a mesh grunge layered holy thing. Um, <laughs> Save the Queen sells really well as we showed in a previous video sometimes I think we're repeating ourselves a little bit and I do apologise for that but people dipping in and out of our videos Yeah, I, w- I was just going to say a, a, lot, a lot of the videos we've been doing lately like we do sometimes obviously we're going to double mention brands etc because we buy some of the same things sometimes or do you, if we don't buy them we see them um, what I was going to say was someone did mention the other day that um, uh, they hadn't heard of this brand before and it was one we probably mentioned 10 times so I think because people whether maybe they don't watch every single video or maybe don't watch them in all Order. Yeah. Like you just said, sometimes it is kind of for everyone to, to kind of get the brands, if you see what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. This is an RSPCA. That's a Calyx outside. Is it? That was a Calyx, yes. Oh, I didn't even notice. This is a jelly cat. This is, um, I know, I don't ask. I don't want to talk about this. I have small humans that love, no, I just have one small human that loves jelly cats. And then you start looking at jelly cats and then you get a whole of jelly cats. And as resellers, you just can't ignore the jelly cats. And then if you watch Master of Pieces, always looking at his jelly cats. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> they make money, so yeah. guess what? This is a jelly cat, cat nap pillow. It's technically vintage. It was quite pricey. It was ten pound, but there are none for sale, and I'm gonna aim for sixty, and that's all I gotta say. There are big collectors of these pillows. I'm gonna say these guys. Are, these are a pair of Granton shoes. They were in a five pound basket on the floor, uh, covered in dust. They're well used, but they're Granton. They're red. Um, they have the red insides. They're barely uh, used. I don't uh, mean they're well no, used. No, the, the the soles. You know, they're not not the that, soles. Yeah, the soles. I'm saying the actual shoe are lovely. Um. Anyway, moving on. They were uh, five pounds. And I was supposed to edit this bit out. No, oh. I wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> this is Stackers. Now, I'm going to talk to you about Stackers really quickly. I wasn't really aware of Stackers because um, I don't own things like this. But um, my dad was telling me that he bought my mum a jewellery case for oh, yeah, Christmas. He and he said he spent 60 quid on Amazon on this Stackers jewellery thing. And I honestly looked at him like he was the Are you mental? Like, mentally unstable. I like, what? Anyway, so now I just look out for him you. because I think, well, there's got to be resale surely then if, if, 
if people um, are paying 60 quid on Amazon. And what was it worth? Um, that one is current in John Lewis. It is a rose quartz effect cone, and you can move the top off of and store your rings in it. It's retail is only 20 quid, but they sell quite comfortably on eBay. That's new in box for 15 to 18. So I thought I'd give it a try. Cool. I'm trying to get a dip into hard goods. But look out for the leather stacking jewellery boxes. Yeah, That's where the money is. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. So where are we right now? We've moved to villages or towns. Right, this this town, if you live in this town, please comment below because this town scared me. Why? It was just like, it had like this like... Oh, it's military vibes. It's, it was a military base and it just had military vibes. And it not it, it didn't scare me, but it had it had like a... I oh, felt like fair, I was a part of the army. Nearly every person we saw which wasn't working in a shop had it had a military uniform I felt on. like I wasn't allowed so, to be there, like I was in Area 21 or 31 or whatever it is. 50 51? 51. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. felt like I was on their turf and I wasn't allowed to be. Yeah. Um, no so step was, off. No one was rude or mean. No, no one I even just, looked at you twice, did they? No. It's, just, it's just how you felt. Yeah, I just felt it was like a... It, I don't know. There was a lot of wide open spaces. Like, and that just... What that, are you talking that about? That disturbed me a little bit. We live in... What? Yeah. Anyway, right. it's called Tidworth. Okay, fair enough. Is it? Yeah, it's called Tidworth. Probably. I just looked it up. They said I had the two charity shops. So I thought, oh, we're going there. We, we all come on the way back, so we thought, bang, let's do it. And it was good. Anyway, yeah, we've come back, definitely. So they had these Timberland boots, which I the colourway is unusual. They were like a weird rippled kind of leather effect. But, it was, but they they had, were leather, but they weren't. They yeah. had all the doodars. So they had like all the waterproofs. Yeah, and the, you can see a label the, in there. Yeah, all the um, hell, Hellcore. Hellcore, and... the standard. <laughs> these were £25. Welcome to Hellcore. I'm going to say I didn't know enough about them to ever to spend that much money on them. Um, I know I wouldn't spend that on a standard Timberland boot. I would pick up Timberland boots. I'm though, not saying but... they weren't worth it. In actual fact, maybe I'll put a comp or two here. But what, like for £25 for a pair of Timberlands, I just find that like, even if they're 100 it's just not my... Like, I'm, not, I'm not into it for that. Oh, and I'd just like to say as well, like the barber was called Soldier's Barber. And then there was a soldier's outfitting shop. And there was like a... Uh, there was a gun rack in the window, I'm not going to lie. There was a camo shop. Yeah. Like, it was proper. I'm not even being funny. It, I've never been to a place where it was just all designed to sell to the military. Well, it was probably like... <laughs> I'm guessing it's a military-based kind of well, area. I understand that, but I felt like I was maybe not allowed to be there. Anyway, these are some Burberry pants. They're jeans, to be precise. They're very Y2K. They're £15. Pounds. They've got a little baby Nova check, little t side tag on them. They're yeah, like... I mean, listen, they're used, but they're Y2K. They've got a great kind of... Um, look. Uh, Wide uh, leg. Width leg, yeah. Like, trust me, that boot cut vibe, which everyone can't stand, is coming back. Just, just watch your space, folks. Do you know they would look nice on a girl with, like, a little white... Like the Y two K thing is nearly over. The, like the two thousand ten ish is gonna be is gonna hit hard and boot cuts. Honestly, like I can't even tell you. Just just remember where you heard it first. Austin, you're, if you put a pair of boot cuts I, on, I'm leaving. No, no like, like no. I'm leaving. I'm done. That's it. Game over. I'm not. There's I'm nothing saying, wrong with boot cuts. I'm, I'm but saying that. But okay, you, you say that now. Austin in boot cuts. There is something wrong with. It's like what do you what do you even style out with with shoe shoe wise? Like a I'm boot. Such a, no, do you know what? It would be like a skate like a chunky escape shoe a like boot. they're doing now. So yeah, go on anyway. No, it's not. But shut. Will you shush? Book. Just do it. Just, just, just <laughs> anyway, carry on. Fifteen pounds. There are at least a hundred racks. Yeah. Can you say a hundred racks? No, that's that's that, no, that's, that's like a hundred thousand. thousand yeah. There are so at least one. A pound. tenth of a rack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that will do for me. Best year. Um, look, look how nice they look. I'm with, styling uh, it, guys. I'm just styling yeah, it out. Yeah, styling it. Um, they look. They crop it, chop it, do what oh, you want. Now, I bet they go on. I bet you they go on Depop. What's that? What? Yeah. What's actually really nice? As much as I laugh at the hem because the hem is wide too. The actual leg is like really, really stylish, like oversized. Now it's, it would be. They would be amazing. Actually, you're for, gonna try them on. For, aren't you? No, no, no. They're too small for me. Um, no. For on a woman as well though. What, with, a, with a belt, uh, with a belt tied tight. All right. You know I, was, I, mean? I was gonna make fun of the size of your waist, and I decided not to. Um, Harsh. I didn't, so therefore Move it doesn't on. matter. So we're moving on swiftly. Um, I also find something else in a minute. I'm in the ladies section. Oh, before we move on to that, there are some Doc Martins in the window. They're forty pounds. They're industrial, but not. So they are industrial. They're from the industrial collection, but they haven't got steel toe. Which is very strange. Um, I found this. This is a Versace. Classic um, V two, like nineties. How much is 2000? it? Oh, it is ten pounds. Oh, that's pricey. I didn't realise it was ten pound. Anyway, once again, it's, it's got pricey. it's got that Y two K nineties vibe. It's like a cotton mesh knit. Even that fabric, though, even that fabric says like Y two K to me. Yeah. Do you, like, do you remember when it was kind of like you'd have celebrities wearing that with nothing underneath? It would be mm. transparent. You know what I mean? That would be you can cute. see the vibe with those jeans. 
Or leather pants. Or leather, it's a leather pants. pants vibe. Honestly, it is. Anyway, we got both of those. I would expect a hundred back, at least a hundred back for the Versace also. Um, so even though we spent twenty five pounds, there is a good two hundred to two hundred and fifty pound return. I am telling ye. Um, next up, we went across the road to the other charity shop. There's two in this town. If you ever want to venture here, wouldn't recommend it just for the scary vibes. No, nah, it's amazing. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> it's not. Um, but there's a Shaw Trust over here, and this Shaw Trust. That bus had Area 51 on the thing. <laughs> I to- see, I told the destination. you. I told you. <laughs> I'm joking. It didn't. <laughs> there was a subway. Welcome to hell. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, actually. It wasn't at all. Um, it's just funny that you feel that way, and I'm just winding you up. Oh, but just... see, did you see the military man? <laughs> like, like, we're like we're paying where's look in the window look in the window just by here yeah, on the just, right you can't see anything because they're uniform. all in camo what were you going to say to him excuse me you can't, ah. Ah. <laughs> you can't anyway, see me it was yeah, good vibes. it was really good anyway um if you are ever in the area i would i would say it's worth checking in it was amazing yeah um we jokes we jokes we are full of the bands look at this straight in i can see a price from a mile away i can you see what austin is missing in this clip we'll get to it we'll later get back to a minute. but if you can but i'm a trainer guy by nature if Deal you with can it. spot what he's missing these are t- yeah you, you won't be able to um these are two pounds fifty Two pound fifty, which is just silly for trainers. These are on uh, stock X at the moment as well, aren't they? Yeah, we'll put we'll put um I'll put the special pictures up because I did look them up. They're not um, like crazy money, but they're good money for I two pound fifty. I did find them on Google by t- typing in Adidas chunky trainer, and they came straight up. So. <laughs> they don't have any chunky trainers. To so be fair. just use some um, rough adjectives, and you'll get there eventually. Fair enough. Um, anything you'd like to say about the men's section here, Austin? Right. Okay. Sahara esque. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I wouldn't. I'm just gonna flick through some. But whilst I'm doing this, I was going to say, um, the actual Adidas, because I'll probably forget this at this point, when I went to the till and bought whatever we buy in this store, the lady actually commented and kind of tutted as she she scanned the £2.50. She just went, Ugh. I, I said, okay. Um, and she said, um, I wouldn't have priced them at this. They're worth a lot more than that. I said, oh, I said, well, I just picked them up as if kind of, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's how they're priced. <sighs> no, it's fine. I think she's had a problem with you because she could tell. You know what it was? You weren't from Area 51. Non-military. Yeah. 100%. Maybe. This video might N-M get taken vibes. down. vibes. Non-military vibes. <laughs> Non-military vibes. Yeah. Do you think... I, I think they can tell outsiders. Oh, big time. Yeah, because I'm mainly from the, the scale of going. <laughs> also, the Welsh accent probably didn't do me any favours. Well, you know people that are from Wales can go in the army. We don't, like, we don't like to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Austin did actually find a missing... <laughs> Disgracing a whole nation. Yeah, Austin did find... We do actually go in the army, guys. <laughs> you want your independence, but you don't, wanna, you don't want to work for it or anything. Oh, God. <laughs> this is such a controversial video. Anyway. Um, um, no, it's not. It's coming from us. <laughs> Austin, Who's going to take us seriously? Get over. Uh, anyway, um, Austin did actually find a miscellaneous item in this shop, and I, I'm not going to say it, or I'll say it once, I was quite surprised that he actually achieved, <laughs> that he actually achieved something. Something in this department. It, it, uh, <laughs> is it in life? <laughs> Speaking of really cool things, Austin finds. Look at this. Well, this is a. This is um. This is uh, this is what it is. Look at it. This is a an- silk blend YSL vintage men's shirt, long sleeve with a. Look at the pattern. There is a tiny bit of a little bit of patch of wear. I, and, that is it's quite obvious, but the, the the shirt's mental, so like just. Get I think over someone it. would just wear it open or wear it like four buttons down and a bit of like you know yep. like chest out with a medallion necklace. Uh, you even a medallion, like even a skinny little gold chain, but just on on, on some kind of rug, yeah. a chest rug. It's gorgeous. You know what I mean? It would do at least fifty pound. If it didn't have the damage, it would be it would be in a hundred pound piece. I'm telling you now. Yeah, it, easily. Yeah, uh, we've actually sold a couple of um, the YSL like this, but silk, and they always go super fast. Yeah, we got one that we paid loads of money for one in the. Hot spots by mistake once. Do, do you know this is funny? Bethany always says this, and just to clarify, it was like 20 quid, but at the time, it seemed like the the, the highest amount we'd ever paid in a charity shop ever. We sold it for 150. Yeah. Very quickly, very You're quickly. welcome, toots. Uh, toots. <laughs> Excuse you. Austin always looks in the game boxes because he has a partial to collecting vintage games. But I know nothing about everyone. current pricing. Um, and he always has a look, and I, I always, always, I always shout at that guy. Shout at him because I'm you, like, you know what? Every single, every single shop we go in, I look at games, but I always, I always either edit it out because it'll annoy Bethany, or I edit it out because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get shouted at that because basically I was looking <laughs> and spending time with games when I should be looking at. To be clothes. fair, you don't really know anything about games. I know, I know what I like, but that's all I know. Next to the Adidas trainers were these pair of toast shoes. Oh, they're not very toasty, 
but they are nevertheless a pair of toe shoes. They got that like a like nineteen twenties like you know like a tea dress shoe. I think. Yeah. It's, does that make sense? They have been resold, and the heels could probably do again. But they were five pounds, and I'm not saying no. I no, am just you know not. What? Like even with the style, like I, I just think it's a decent. I think it's a decent shoe. This is what Austin found. Austin found this right, and we won't talk about it for very long. Apparently, people love it, and it is a very popular game. And I've listed it for I seventy remember, five pounds. I remember watching someone. I can't remember who it was, but I remember watching a video on um on YouTube about kind of rare PS2 games. This this isn't like crazy rare, but it goes for like for when average games can go for like two, three, four, five quid. <laughs> this one goes for like what? 80, 90 quid? No, it goes for like tenner. Also, CIB <laughs> guy, tenner, bite me. Um, CIB apparently means complete in box. Who knew? I'm a rookie when it comes to games. I have no idea, but there you go. It I was a CIB. All these people already know that. Anyway, I've listed it for seventy five pound. Um, the last one sold for eighty, and then they sell like in free figures if you've got the plastic bit around. If it. anyone wants to do like a a, a cool swap I'll with swap anything you've... Nintendo based from the desk, let me know. Or you can swap us for like anything designer or something like that. Jog on. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. Or a hat. A hat. Bye. <laughs>